you guys so welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is Alexis today is Friday and we are currently headed to the headed to Sephora to grab some things I'm out of like facial cleanser and uh, some other stuff so I thought that this would be the perfect time. I just, today is Good Friday and I just kind of got off work. I don't know why I still had a sweater on, like it's cold outside. Let me take this off. Um, today is Good Friday and I just got off work. Well, not just, I've been off for maybe an hour now. And so now I'm about to stop by home, but now I'm about to, oh my gosh, I'm all in my grass. Where am I going? Oh my gosh, I'm in my grass, I'm talking to y'all. Um, just stop by home for a bit to let the girls out and, well, my dogs. And now I'm going to go to Sephora and then I'm going to go to Chanel shop because I need my nails done. And, uh, oh, I'm going to get a snow cone from this place here in Houston. Well, it's not even in Houston. It's really in Pearland, far, far away Pearland. But when I tell y'all, y'all know when y'all was growing up, right? A big weakness of mine, and I'm just gonna throw it out there, was snow cones. Like, snow cones and, and corn in the cups. Well, elotes, right? And this place, there's a reason why it's far, because it's so great. But they have elotes there, and when I tell you it is top tier, so good. So I'm gonna go get one today. Like, I got one last Friday, and it was great. And now I'm going back again this Friday because it's great. But it's like in Pearland, like deep in there, right? But y'all, it's worth it. Like, I've had a lot of snow cones around Houston, and this one is just like they give you the right juice. And then in your elote, they give you the right corn, like the right amount of like cheese and hot sauce. Like, it is top tier. So, yeah, I'm feeding that today. I'm also feeding Chick fil A. I don't know why in the world I have been feeding Chick fil A because, in my opinion, Chick fil A is really a snack. But if you add that mac and cheese, oh, y'all, if you add that mac and cheese with your fries and your spicy chicken salad sandwich, <laughs> it is top tier. So, yeah. We definitely, I might get that tonight because I'm going to go hang out with my cousin's cousin and her, uh, her daughter. She's going to have like a little girl's afternoon. So, um, I didn't even bring any alcohol. Ugh, whatever. Um, we're going to have like a little girl's afternoon. And so I thought it'd be fun to, um, well, at first I thought it'd be fun to bring some, oh, some drinks, but then I forgot that at home. Um, but we're just going to hang out and just watch some movies and stuff probably some age appropriate movies like some pgg well some g movies because she's only three years old but yeah it'll be cool just to hang out and um just have some girl time because her husband's going out of town so we're just gonna chill but anyway i pretty much told y'all about what we're gonna do y'all let me tell y'all how i just went into jc penny sephora I don't know if y'all have these, but in, in, in some of our JC Penney's, they have Sephora's. Y'all, a waste of time. They didn't have anything that I needed. They didn't even have like the new version of the Tatcha cleanser, where it's like a squeeze bottle instead of it being in that like ridiculous bottle that they originally put it in. I'm like, can y'all upgrade? Like, dang. Like, that's why I stay in the city. I'm a city girl. Because anytime you come outside the city, it's giving day not up to date yet. Even if it's like 12, 15 minutes outside of the city, it's still it's not giving. It's giving gold. Anyway, me and my cousin are about to go to this place she recommended called Stumps Burger Joint. Because we were supposed to get our nails done, but the nail shop we like we wanted to go to... It's full for the day, which is expected. Oh, which while I'm talking, let me go ahead and set my appointment at Citrus because what be happening is I'm going to set my appointment for tomorrow because I know it's Easter weekend and people going to be in there. And I never set an appointment, but I guess I will today because I'm not trying to, I'm trying to get my nails done. I feel like my nails get done. Hi, can I set an appointment? For when? Tomorrow. What time? Um like 9 30. what are you getting done 
a refill? Uh, I can't do a refill until about, let me see, can you do 11? Does that work for you? No, that's okay. Baby, people is live at five, okay? I'm not about to wait around for an hour to get my nails done. Like, it's just not that serious for me. Me and nails have a love-hate relationship. Either I'm gonna get them done or I'm not. Okay, I'm not about to be like these people that sit around and wait for a certain nail tech. Like, I don't even care that much. I don't give it that much energy. But some people do, and I understand. I understand why it's important to y'all, but it's not to me. And so, I'm just gonna keep it moving. Anyway, they have a lot of new restaurants out here in Pearland. Slim's, Slim Chickens. Um, What else do I see now? Not much. I used to live out here. Like, here, two, three, three, three years ago now? I think it's like three years ago. Um, yeah. I, and I like, back when I lived out here, it was so funny because when I lived out here, I was swearing that I would never leave. Like, like when I first moved out here. Then I got so sick of Pearland because I started doing construction. It just became just like took forever it took forever to get to work and i don't even work that far away from uh Pearland. and it was just like everything was taking too long but now they've like built it out where they got like a beltway and like they have like it's i heard it's easier but it's still not for me it's not for me. the problem is is that it's more expensive to live in the city but for me where i'm at now it's cool it's just like to move more into the city like i want to one day it's definitely going to be more of a price. And then, like, the houses, right? So, the houses are way more expensive, but, you know, hey. Good morning, y'all. So, today's Saturday, and I'm currently headed to cycling. Whew. I am surprised I am on time today, because typically I am... Run always late, but today I got up a little bit earlier, so I'm moving and grooving. I need to go. So, because yesterday I didn't get to go to, like, yesterday I just ended up, like, getting a snow cone and going to my cousin's house, but I was so irritated after because, y'all, the snow cone place we went to, it literally took 30 minutes for a daggone snow cone, and it was just like, girl. Like, I wasn't even supposed to be having this, but you just proved why I shouldn't have it. And, um, because it took so long, and then, like, the place kind of sits under a tree, like, where you wait at. And, girl, it was like caterpillars falling from the trees. And one fell on my head, and I damn near freaked out. So, the rest of the afternoon was very chill for me. I just literally sat on the couch with my cousin, and we watched a movie. We watched this movie called blood water and it's with ben affleck in it it's a new movie on hulu and y'all like y'all know if y'all ever watched a movie and you can't like you watch it and you be like i don't know what i should have been taking from this you know like like it wasn't like you know it was like you knew what he was gonna do because of what you know what was happening so you it's just like what was the aha uh, uh -huh moment about this movie, you know, and why they spent so much money on making it? Like, it should have been an aha uh -huh moment. Like, I would have rather the show be like a a freaking series where, like, there's some aha uh -huh moment, but it was definitely not an aha uh -huh moment in this. So, it was just long. And it was like an hour and something minutes, and you was just like, I didn't even know I was sitting here this long, but okay, you know? So yeah, we did that. And then we watched the older movie. But yeah, when I watch movies, I probably got only one good movie in me. If especially if it's nighttime and I am going to sleep. Okay? Because I'm a tired soul. So I took a little nap and then I ended up coming home and getting me and going to sleep. So yeah, here we are today. I need to make a few stops. Why is my battery dying? I knew I should have went back in the house and grab another battery. Um yeah, I'm going to go to cycling, and then I need to get my nails done. I need to pick up the groceries because I had, I did curbside, so I need to pick up the groceries. And then I need to try to go to Sephora because I still don't have a cleanser for my face. So that's irritating. 
the problem is I'm trying to figure out which one I can go to. Oh, you know what? I can go to the Sephora and Rice Village because I'm definitely not going to the mall. Michael just said he needs he needs to find something to wear because we have something to do next Saturday and we have an outing the Saturday after that. And it's like he needs something to wear. He's like, when we go to the mall, and I'm like, maybe next weekend, but like not this weekend. I'm off. I'm kind of technically off next Friday, so I might try to go find him some next Friday, but not today. Not today, okay? Get with this lash that's about to come off on my uh, I don't know why at night. I'm pretty sure it's because I have it so cold in the house. But y'all, at night, it be like my eyes be watering. And so, like, this lash on this side about to come off, and this is probably barely holding on itself. I didn't want to go out the house looking fully, so I just didn't pull it off. So if you see me looking kind of crazy in this eye, it's because, yeah, I have a lash about to come off. Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, let's get to the cycling class. Let me get my energy up, call my mom. We're supposed to be going over her house later today to kind of do like an Easter barbecue. Uh, we're doing it today instead of tomorrow because, honey, I just don't like moving around on Sundays. So that being said, I will be in the house on my couch um tomorrow and so i was like you know we could do something today we're supposed to be getting in the pool today but it's not looking like a pool day it's giving uh, let's sit down in the house and watch some movies so hopefully we just do that today play some games and just kind of like chill because it's yeah it's not giving pool it, it kept saying it's supposed to be hot outside today it's, you know it's supposed to give good weather and i don't see the weather giving it's giving uh very cloudy and nobody want to be outside so I think I'm good on that anyway this is just like I didn't feel like getting wet and having to take a bath and, and I'm getting my nails done anyway so I don't want to mess those up so yeah what I want to do is just try something new let's go 30 seconds here oh that was a class okay I think I worked hard today Whew. Now I'm headed to, I want to go to Starbucks, but I really need to try to catch this nail shop because they literally just opened four minutes ago. And I want to try to finesse them into doing my nails right now because I called them yesterday and they was on some stuff like, can you come around 11? And I'm just like, no, I can't. <laughs> I need to come like when I got class. So hopefully they can take me if I'm like, the first one there but I'm probably not the first one to think of that so we'll see how that goes all right y'all we got our nails done omg after two hours y'all two hours and 85 dollars y'all that was expensive i think the place i go to charge me they charge so for the nails it was okay like that is typically what i get charged but for my toes i got a shellac polish change and they literally was like 40 dollars for that i don't think i paid it at my other spot now for a full set like if i would have got a full set and got my toes done with that, then I would have paid around 85, but that's expensive, mm -mm, baby. I will never go there again to get a uh, polish change on my toes. I will be going, I'm about to start going back to my regular place anyway, because I literally got there, had to wait a few minutes, then they took me, but I didn't have an appointment. I like, like I said, I like places that I can just literally roll up into and they could be like, yeah, you know, because they got a big enough establishment. But like, you know, everybody ain't set up like that. And I understand that. But, you know, um, shoot, I'd be ready to go. Now I'm trying to, I'm in a Starbucks parking lot. Probably shouldn't be in there because after what I just spent, I really can't afford it. <laughs> I'm about to get a, a matcha because I'm obsessed. I need to figure out. A good matcha for home but i haven't figured it out yet but i've been drinking matcha with a shot of espresso which i really needed because my energy about to start going down especially when i get home i'll be trying to keep my energy up for the day 
and it'd be hard because I'd be tired. And, you know, once you take a bath, you get comfortable, you get tired, and I don't want to go to sleep because I got stuff to do. So I'm going to give me a little matcha with oat milk and um, a shot of espresso. And then I'm going to go pick up my groceries because they've been ready since 9 a.m. And a good thing is I don't think I have many things cold, so it should be fine. But I'm sure they store it for you until, like, you know, until, until. I mean, it's paid for. That's the thing. It's just I just need to pick them up and um, put them in my car. I want to stop at Chick-fil-A to get, like, a little, you know, something to eat. Because I just called Michael and he's like, I'm starving. He didn't buy himself a bicycle and he just was riding around the neighborhood. So, um, I, once I, yeah, once I pick all that stuff up, then I'm going to get some Chick-fil-A. I need, really need to go to Sephora, but it's like, I really don't feel like driving down there. Maybe I can go to the one in Highland Village. Let me see if they got the stuff I need first. Y'all got my drink. So, y'all, if y'all don't like the... Oh, shoot. I'm trying to turn and do too much. About to break my straw. Um, So, yeah. This is so good, y'all. If y'all don't like the normal taste of... Um, let me get a little picture of this. If y'all don't like the normal taste of coffee and y'all... You want something sweet, but then, you know, every time you get something sweet, it just don't be right. And then you don't really like sugar-free get this because oat milk for one is naturally sweet um and then so you and then matcha oh hell no craig hell no not the damn train oh lord i gotta get out the heights because it is detrimental to my health not getting stopped by a train at 11 40 on a saturday <sighs> I'll just drink my matcha, but let me get a little let me get a little picture of this. It's so cute. It's the green drink. Let me get a little picture of this before I get fired. It's so good. It's so good. You just mix it up. I need to find some good matcha. Oh, because this one drink is look this little drink is seven dollars. It's so good. that I got from Amazon. So I'm gonna show y'all how I put this in here. It's super easy. So, so you're just supposed to be able to pull this right on out there. So this is how it was the wet wipes like this, but they're not appeasing to my restroom. So I'm gonna tell you this is this. I broke off the look. So, I'm just gonna now put this back on. Let's 
and now it doesn't look so bad. I mean, you can still see like the little blue, but like if it's just sitting on your, if it's just sitting on your little thing like this, it looks so much better. I'm gonna put this one in my restroom now. This looks so much better. I just need to get like a little thing for the, the roll spray because that doesn't look good, but I love this. Looks cute. Hey y'all, so today is Sunday and I have, it's about like almost two o'clock and literally today I've just been relaxing, watching TV. Today's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday for those of you that celebrate it. I'm gonna show y'all a couple things because I just got them. I didn't, oh, wait, like, hold on, let's roll it back. So yesterday I had told y'all I went to Sephora. I never got back on camera after like going, saying I was gonna go there. Hold on, let me grab the stuff out the restaurant. Yeah, so I picked up, I said I was going to Sephora to pick up some things, but I never ended up showing y'all like what I was picking up, so. I'm gonna sit down and show y'all real quick all the stuff I got from <coughs> allergies have been bothering me today. Okay, so I never showed y'all all the stuff I got. I love just picking up your like ordering your stuff from support and then just going and picking up because it's just like so much better. Anyway, so I picked up some more of the Tatcha cleanser. I love this cleanser for my face. Um it's just really, really good. This one bottle, although it's like 60 bucks, I believe, it lasts a very long time. Um, and you only need like a dab of it because it's just very, what is the word called? You can lather it up well. It's a really good cleanser. You know, at some point you just stick to what you know. I don't have a moisturizer. I ran out of that too. But I've been using oil, so it's fine. And I go to so yesterday I spent like a hundred and some dollars and I was like, whew, I was already feeling some type of way about that. So my cousin recommended me this Tracy Ellis Ross brand called she said the stronghold gel was really good. I was looking for something that would be really good for my edges because it uh that would really help hold my edges and like the front of my braids. You know, like when the front of your braids start to turn and get old. It's just like you need to like touch them up and I feel like edge control leaves a white cast. So I'm looking for like some type of really good gel um, that holds up. So she recommended this to me, me to, she recommended this to me. It smells pretty good. And so hopefully it will lay down my hair. Um, and I read the reviews on this and it says it does that. So. I bought some of that. I also bought an edge control brush from her, from the Tracy Ellis Ross brand, because y'all, like, crazy. I went to my cousin's house the other day, like on Friday when I was telling y'all, and she had the gel and she had the, this, uh, the brush. And I was like, that's the best edge control brush that I've ever seen. Like, the ones you get from the beauty supply, do not do it like that. I'm gonna show y'all. Look how thick this one is. So, like, look at the end. It's really thick. You can part with it. And then look how thick the brush is. Like, it's a thick brush and then it has like some viable combs on the side. So when it comes to like look how that look how it like starts to it gets my it gets my edges kind of laying down even though I don't even have any products on my face. So yeah, I had to pick up this. I think it was like twelve dollars, but it was worth it. You know how many edge control brushes I've bought based off of like you know, trying to make it work with with that little brush they put on there and not being able to do it i'm going to use a little bit of her stuff to try to see people said on the reviews that they was using this as they um they were using this as their edge control and like i said the edge control has been just leaving a white cast for me and so i've been trying to look for something mm -hmm. I, get right. I can barely see I need to put a little light on this camera because I can see crap in this house. But based off of me not having a mirror and me using the viewfinder, looks pretty good. Let me do the other side if I look crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this stuff 
like a lot of this comes out you only need a little bit and maybe with the gel look I mean I literally I don't know why I'm doing this right now they're probably terrible but look how it laid down looks pretty good okay yeah so I love this brush I fell in love with it as soon as I seen it and it looks and it gives a more of a softer look with the gel instead of using edge control where it gives like that harsh look I think I'm getting over that at this point because at this point does it really last all day it does not so might as well use something of a better product that lays down your edges anyway so I also bought some dry shampoo because I was looking on line to see like how because you know with putting all the edge control and stuff you get your hair gets gunked up in the front and so they were saying that if you use a dry shampoo it'll help um with the it'll help uh, make your hair last longer it had really good reviews on Sephora so I bought it <clears throat> what else I, bought? I lastly bought this powder which it is the Sephora powder it's the shade mocha I use this on a daily typically. Can you see it? I typically use this on a daily to um, just put all over my face. My daily routine consists of applying a little bit of powder to my face, a little bit of um, a little bit of concealer to my under eyes, and then I'll just put this powder all over my face, like as a face, um, almost like as a foundation. I guess I would act like it it was a foundation, but it's really not super light. You can use this with a full face of foundation on. I just tend to like want something on my face during the week so I will throw this on the shade and the the compact I had like this is literally sold out online you cannot get this online so I had to like find it in the store and in the store they're very limited I hope they're not trying to discontinue it because it would just ruin me it's literally the most affordable powder that's a good powder uh that I've ever ran into it's twenty dollars and this time I picked up I typically pick up 60 but I think that I don't think that was my shade because when you look at the undertones, it was supposed to have, like, it had, like, red undertones in it. I mean, it fit pretty well, um, but I picked up another shade of this, and it, this one kind of looks dark, but it might just be perfect. Like, look at it. It looks like it might be perfect. Let me put it on the back of my hand, on my skin. I just don't want it to make me look dark. And it literally blends so well, you can even tell that I had it on. So I'll try this tomorrow to see if it works. It looks a little dark on my finger, but my my the, in the inside of my hand is darker. So, but it's a neutral shade, right? So, hopefully, it doesn't make me look dark and it just blends right in my skin and makes me look light skin. If not, I'm gonna have to go back and get the color that I have been getting, which is like a little bit lighter. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, they did put some. Ex they did on camera they did put extras in here so they put like a skin fix foaming cleanser in here they put some mascara by buxom in here and then they put this little test tester of skin moisture barrier all that i picked up from sephora i just thought about it i want to show y'all this new matcha i picked up so i know y'all been seeing a lot of people making matcha lattes right if you haven't then i just put you on because <laughs> I literally, I need a tripod stand in this freaking kitchen. Like, just hanging out. Because I don't want to put y'all on the floor. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. So, I'm about to get ready and make uh, a matcha latte. So, I picked up with some coffee in it. Now, that may sound like a lot, but y'all. Y'all, it's so good. So if you've never tried, so I just recently picked up this matcha from, well, I got it off Amazon, but before I was, before I knew it was on Amazon, I was just like searching on Google yesterday, matcha latte, and this, like, because matcha latte versus regular, regular matcha, it doesn't have the sweetened taste, and honestly, I'd rather just get the sweetened taste, because I'm going to go and add some to it anyway if I don't like the taste, so I just bought matcha latte. It's only nine carbs per serving per two teaspoons um so you only need a, and you only need a little bit of it so i was thinking about using drinking this like for breakfast i'm gonna make it in this really cute glass so we can be very trendy today 
So mine looks a little bit lighter and it's because I use the half and half cream and let me tell you why I use the half and half cream. Half and half cream, the lactose free one I just showed you by Chobani, has less calories than oat milk. Mm. Anyway, it's good. I'm a little straw in here so I can drink it. I'm like taking forever to do things I need to do. Battery, stay dying, stay dying. Today is Thursday, y'all. I've not been vlogging because I suck, but it's okay because it's a new day. Now, my battery is about to die, so we just gonna keep going until it cuts off. But yeah, um, I have been just, you know, working like a working woman and oh, trying to just get some rest and relax at the same time and clear my mind because I literally feel like. You know, like a person just thinks of negative thoughts. I feel like we self inflict ourselves as people, and I feel like I do that. Me, just speaking for myself, I do that a lot. Like, I'll just like think of just real negative stuff, like, like how I'm not happy when it's like really not even true because I really am happy. But like, I will like nitpick on the little things in life, and it's just like, oh my gosh, like you are literally like it's people dying. You over here, like, you have a great life. I don't know. And it's not like I think bad on myself. It's just like, oh, I could be doing this. I could be doing that. I could be doing this. That's how I think negatively. Or I want this. I want that. That's me thinking negatively. I feel like that's very negative. It's just like, girl, be happy with what you got, what you have, and like so on and so forth. You know, your life is great. You're married. Like, you ain't got no man problems. Like, girl, be happy. I'm trying this in the class. Um... Pilates, it's called solid core, and it's supposed to be a, like a more intense workout of um, of Pilates, which I feel like that's what I've been missing in the classes that I've been attending at Club Pilates. Like, it's hard, but it don't give you like the blood sweat, like I'm drenched in sweat. And I feel like if I'm paying for a class, you know, to go to, I want to be literally dripping in sweat. So, randomly on Instagram, because you know Instagram be catching you, I saw this ad, and I didn't even think they was in Houston, to be honest, but I, I don't know why I've done that, because literally how ads work is literally like they can play them in for your city, if it's like a local business, but it was in it dawned on me, so I was like, I looked into it, and they had two locations here in Houston, I was like, oh, okay, cool, let me, I want to check this out, because the class looked very, very intense, and I'm always, like I said, if I am paying for a class, I want to get, like, I want to be drenched in sweat, like, I want to feel like my body just about to, you know, because I'm paying money, so, I'm looking at, I'm trying out, I'm going to class today and tomorrow to see if I like it, and if I like it, then I'm going to cancel my subscription, I really would, I'm like the type of person, I'll be able to know after one day of trying something, if I like it or not, so, if I like it or not, if I like it, then I'm going to change to solid core and then cancel my other membership this class is a little bit more expensive but hey like i said if it's worth the good workout because since yeah if it's worth the workout then i'll do it but i've recently canceled like i used to do bar canceled that it was not for me then i started a club pilates and i do cycling and it's like so cycling is great like i go there once a week love it and then I and I've been working out at home. Um, I started working out at home, so that's great as well too. And so I just need something else, one more thing that's like hardcore, you know, outside of working from working out at home. Because I feel like, you know, when you work out at home, because like after a while you get bored, you know. And so I want to keep like I want to always be moving my body, getting good workout in. And so I've even started riding bikes, riding a, a bike too, that I actually was Michael's bike, but I just started um, incorporating bike rides. I like, I feel like as many ways as I can get like good workouts in, I'm going to try to, because 
I am the type of person that gets bored with their workouts, gets bored going to like, if I'm going to the same gym every day, like that, sh that shit gets boring. Like, I don't care what nobody say. That's the number one reason why people stop working out like they should, because it gets boring. Like, it's not even that you don't like working out. It's just, you just get bored. Hey y'all, so, why do I have two minutes on this battery? I cannot, <laughs> today is not starting off great. But anyway, hey y'all. So today is Friday. Um, I don't know. This wet spot. What's going on? I don't know. I need to run some errands. I need to go to the mall and find something to wear for next weekend. Cause I'm certainly really not gonna have time to do it next week. Cause I want to knock it out this week. And yeah. So that being said, what is on my pants? Like, I hope this dries up before I get to the mom. Anyway, I'm trying to do something with my hair. So, I know I talked all that blase, blase, and, like, I think in a portion of this video about, like, I'm going to have braids, I'm going to keep braids, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what I'm doing? I'm taking out these braids, and that's happening tomorrow. It's just, I don't know. I really want to go back to wearing a V-part wig, which is what I had right before this. I was becoming... Really comfortable with that, having hair and stuff. I love the braids, but a heavy and I'm just ready for like my hair is like it's been a month, over a month now, and it's just it's old and they really need to be redone. So and at this time I do not feel like sitting an, another eight hours to get them done. So when I'm up for that challenge again, then I will do just that. But as of now, I'm just going to take them down tomorrow morning. So I need to go. So I ordered like a new flat iron and uh, stuff. And now I just need to go and get this like heat protecting stuff that I saw online that I'm, um, that this girl used for a silk, to do a silk press. So I'm going to go pick that up from Ulta. And yeah, just run some errands. <sighs> yeah, like I was saying. My day, I'm like, my day is all over the place. I need to do some things on the computer right before I leave. I'm just trying to like, I don't know. I'm just, I wanted to rest. Let's start with, I wanted to start off this day with resting, but I had some people coming over today to look at a tree in my backyard that I need to be cut down. And I was just trying to like fill out a quote from them. I still need to take my time to think this through because right now in our backyard, we've been here almost two years now, and for some reason we cannot get our backyard grass to be consistent across the lawn. And we put seeds down and then the grass kind of grew sporadically throughout like the backyard and then all of a sudden winter came, it all died. And so we have gotten a piece of the tree that we have in our backyard cut down because it's like an older tree. But it's still, the sun is still not getting there. So I need, this guy gave me a quote. And I want to see, you know, I want to call one more of the person out. Because I felt like his number kept fluctuating. And I'm just like, I ain't got time to play games. So anytime I feel like people playing games with me with a price, then I be like, okay, okay, well, I'm going to have to talk to my husband. Sorry, my friend. I always go back to him because I just be like, I feel like sometimes people do be trying to play with you in their prices. And it's just like, look. Now, y'all cut off this big old tree branch and only charged me 300 And now you're talking about cutting off these little pieces and charging me 7 Absolutely not. So, I ain't no fool now. I ain't no fool now. I may be here alone, but I ain't no fool. So, I first want to have my husband look at it and, like, see if, you know, if that'll make a difference. I mean, it's all trial and error, right? Because in, unless we're just trying to cut down the whole tree, then that's the only thing that's going to really bring all the sunlight into the backyard. But, like, I really don't want to pay that price right now because if he was talking about 700 for, like, these little branches, then it's definitely going to be way more than that to cut down the whole goddamn tree. So I'm just like, you know what? I need to think this through. I really want to get the grass done first. Um... But professionally, last time me and Michael did it, and you know, we got it down, but it was some struggle. But like, it was a complete waste because, like, now all the grass is dead. So, I'm thinking, like, maybe we get someone to professionally do it. And if they're landscapers, actual landscapers, not tree service people, they'll be able to be like, okay, well, you need to do this, this, and that, right? And you need to also keep your dogs off of it because that's what that man said that he just came in. He was just like, 
Well, when you put new grass down, you will need to keep your dogs off of it, which is easier said than done because, you know, when you have dogs, I have three dogs, okay? Nobody feels like walking them outside into the front yard, you know? And unsafe, and they want to play, you know? So, I don't know. Um, but we, ha I mean, we have to, like, have to, have to, have to get that grass growing. Like, I want this summer for it to be full of grass because I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about getting a jacuzzi back there. And so it's like, I don't want this whole ugly backyard. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been living here almost two years now. And it's really sweet invested in the inside of the home. And now it's time to like really start like, and it's a new home. Let me point that out. It's a new home that was just built like two years ago, but it's like, no, three years ago now. But it's like, it still is like in an older neighborhood. So, um. Yeah, so it's just like time for us to like get this together in the backyard. Summertime's here, and like last year, it was the same thing. Like we were trying to grow the grass in. So, I mean, I really would like to get some grass down and then get this jacuzzi because the jacuzzi is gonna sit on top of the grass. Um, but hell, that might be a that might be a thing too because I don't even know if something can sit, like I know like. I know the whole fact of like dogs sitting on something, like dog like going to the restroom and all that stuff has an effect on how your grass grows when it's trying to grow in. So I understand that, but I would like to know from the landscape, would I even be able to do that, you know, as soon as I would like with all these, you know, grass issues and stuff. Yeah, that's just homeowner problems, okay? This girl posted something on Instagram, she was like, don't let anybody rush you to buy a home because you know, half of some of these people that are selling you the home, they'll be owning the home themselves. Now, that's true tea. That's true tea. That's true tea. And it, I feel like that's beside the point. The real point is, is that owning a home costs lots of money. Especially when you want to personalize the home, you know, for you and your family. Like, when we got here, we did so, like, it was a new home, but, like, it was a guy that stayed here by himself. And he had, like, designing and, like, the things that he put inside the home. It was, like... Oh no, this is not gonna work for me. Like it was like yellow walls in this piece. And literally when we signed the paperwork at the title company, we came here and we painted the whole entire house that night. Like we stayed up, we did not sleep for 24 hours because I was like, I'm not moving at home <laughs> with yellow walls. Like it just it just doesn't make any sense why these walls are yellow and I'm just not gonna deal with it. So, you know, once you start one project, it's just boom, 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 boom. I actually have a friend. She's been staying in her home at least like six, seven years now. Well, yeah, at least, at least like six years. And they just started, um, they just started like, and they live in like an older home. And they just started like ripping up the floor. You know, they had a storm down there in New Orleans. And so she just recently started like redoing her home. And I mean, it's just like an upgrade. Like you want your house, either outside, inside, whatever, to just be feel like great, you know? But it does cost a lot of money. So anyway, I need to get out of here. I need to, I, I don't know what. Like, I don't, I gotta take this break down. Like, for some reason, like, the residue and stuff keeps, like, staying at the front. Like, don't get me wrong. I love, I think I need to take this down. I love Nala's braids. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to, like, the grit and stuff getting in the, you know, the front, it really is, it's noticeable when they get old, you know? And it just becomes... It just becomes very irritating because you're like, dang, like, I want my hair to look good, you know? But it, it has actually been a while. So it's like, you know what? It's time to take these suckers down and stop being lazy. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning. I actually have our cleaners coming, so I'm going to literally be moving. Like, yeah, it's time for these bad boys to come. My hair has grown out. Hopefully, it has recovered from the mess that I... Hopefully he's recovered from the mess that I created right before I put him in. So, but we'll see. So, we'll see. So, I was about to leave the house and then I realized I didn't show y'all what I'm getting my sister. So, what the heck did I put? Oh, anyway. All right. So, I bought her a Jocomus handbag. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm so obsessed with it. I'm like, oh, I need to get something because... I mean, I have a black bag, but it's always a need for, like, a little mini like this. Like, I don't have one like this. I need to put this like this. But for now, this is for her, okay? This is not about me. This is for her. So, I bought this cute little bag, um, which I feel like it looks small on camera, but it's a pretty good size. It comes with a strap and everything, which is, like, perfect. 
I think it's like the perfect gift to get someone especially uh, because Jacobus is such a good brand I have I have three bags from them now and I love them all so um, yeah love this handbag from them and um, she's I know she's gonna love it I know she's gonna love it I gotta get a bag for a while I'm out today I need to leave right now like I've been working on the computer and it's time to get it up shoot and I'll ride I'm put some lip gloss on so I have just made my first stop handling my motherly duties dropped my child well one of my children off at the groomers and so now we're about to run all the other 5011 you know things I need to do I'm so glad that I like worked from home today because literally it's crazy how much like when you start making lists and you know realize how much shit you gotta do it was like really meant for me like not to work today because then I would have to like cram it all into like two days and who wants to do that So I just ordered recently today, it's supposed to be in. I just ordered this flat iron because I wanted a bigger flat iron to like flat iron my hair since I'm not taking the braids down. So I ordered this one. Hopefully, I ordered it off Amazon, so hopefully it's good. And if so, then I'll keep it. If not, I'll return it. But I need a bigger plate because I have like a skinny one inch at home and it just, it's not for me. I think I ordered How much money you got? 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 so much moving around for her, trying to get her ready and stuff that I was just like, low energy, you know? So, didn't have the energy to get the top of the camera and like, walk up okay. But that doesn't matter, because today, I'm okay, here. I am currently preparing for a Sunday dinner. Uh, my mom, my sister, her boyfriend, both of their boyfriends, I'm going to go for dinner tonight. So I'm going to be making, um, I'm going to be making burrito tacos. My mom has been really wanting to taste them. And she didn't get a chance to last time I made them. So I told her to come over and I'll make them. I had to buy some new plates um, just yesterday. Like, I have been shopping on Amazon ridiculously. I think I placed like six orders yesterday, maybe like six or seven orders. Did it Friday, six or the step four. Like, I love, I will never stop saying I love how convenient Amazon is. Um, when you need something, you can find it on there fast. I needed some new plates because I had the original ones I bought were from um, IKEA and they were just all chipped. And so, I needed some plates. I needed some plates to go with my dinnerware. These are a little bit off-white, but it's okay because I'm going to end up switching all this stuff out, but I just need to put them for today. Thank you. I just need some place for today to use. I may end up taking these back because now that I look at them, they're off-white and then they only gave me four. I was hoping they gave me six. And I don't even know why they checked for that. I think it was just in such of a rush to like get some dishes that... I literally just ordered these, but I think I'm gonna keep the packaging and return this and get some more that fit the color that I have because that's another thing. I need I need 
some of uh, I want some of the things that I have I've given all my life. I can just serve their meal on those plates and I can serve me in my older ones and then we make every little Have you ever used this rotate stuff? Yeah, I know you have. Have you ever used this rotate stuff? I just started using it because I noticed like spots and stuff on my dishes and this is supposed to like help with it. It's like the cascade rinse and color dry. Three one from rinse spots, shines and dry. I feel like no one really ever gets this. And they actually have like a little space down here in the thing for it. First off, it's hard to even hold. I need something dry. Like the break now trying to open it. Alrighty. So now I'm about to make some iced tea. So I just thought about like doing some really cute stuff. This is the really first time I'm testing. Let me see. I'm supposed to do like a real kind of chin up party. Yes. So I wanted to. Just thought about putting this out to put like lint, limes, pico. And what else do you need to make it? Because um, like they're burrito tacos, so they're going to have things in the day. next day oh my gosh I'm doing this with my it's the next day and I am um my family came over I didn't get back on camera yesterday because you know what I was just spending time with family so I just wanted to take my time to like really catch up with them but yeah so you saw everything I cooked and stuff super exhausted but it was super worthwhile just having them over on a Sunday because we never really do that and then just getting together and eating dinner together so love that but I really wanted to show you what I got from Amber Carmine and Fitch and Zara because I never showed you all what I got from Zara. So let me start off showing you what I got from Zara and then I'll show you. I only got one thing for me but two things for my husband. So I ended up buying him this polo shirt which he's already worn by now because he wore it on Saturday for my sister's dinner. Super cute polo. I feel like Zara has the perfect little polos for men if you're if they're just wanting something nice they have very versatile and every season they come out with like even better ones so anytime we're like going somewhere I just go straight to Zara for him to find something because they're really really nice and really good quality so he can wear this over and over and over again and it's gonna continue to look great then I got him this little polo shirt because we are going to a dinner next this weekend coming up for mother's day and so i was looking for something white but then i found something that are the theme of the party colors which is like pink which i thought that that was so cute i wish you can show this you know so such a cute little polo shirt for men pull that up nicely all right so i found this for me now granted when i was in the store this looked way more this didn't look hot pink but now it's starting to look hot pink and I'm kind of getting worried because hot pink was not what I was going for. Like in the camera, it doesn't look hot pink, but in person, it's definitely hot pink. And then I see like this like, I don't know, it's something here and you can't even see it on camera. But you know how like it looks like when you take some tape and like how to rip something off? That's what it looks like happened right here. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I'm having the hard time. Like I put the theme of the party as pink and white. And I'm the one having the hardest time finding something pink and white. So it's really starting to get to me because how I come up with a theme that I can't even go by. So this is how the bottoms look. And honestly, I'm not obsessed with this. Like, I mean, I'm returning this. Like, I don't like it. Like, I should have tried it on in the store. It's just not for me. Like, this little short situation, it's just... 
it's giving very cheap to me. So I'm returning this. I need to go online. Like I went to the mall Saturday, I mean Friday, and I couldn't find anything. Like I spent at least an hour and a half just walking around Zara and I couldn't come up with anything. And this definitely is not it. So I'm returning this whole outfit. Um, I mean, well, I'm returning these pants. This is not, this is not happening for me. This is not it. This cannot happen. Ugh, absolutely not. So let me take these off. I'm glad I tried them on because I literally thought that I just needed to find a shirt and then that was it. But that is not it. This is not it. So yeah, we're gonna find something else. All right, moving on next. What I got from Amber Crombie and Fitch, which I'm gonna slip these pants on. I've already tried them on, but I've come to the conclusion that they're not for me because of how they fit. Now, they are supposed to be from the Curve Collection, the skinny jeans, but I feel like, let me see them up. I feel like I need to go up a size or something because they're not giving skinny to me, right? They're giving, it's giving like hip, right, hip, what is those hip hugger pants? And I don't like that. I don't feel like it's curving my butt. I feel like it's, if anything, just, it, I mean, it's just not sitting right. So I don't know. I might just return them or I might get another size. These pants were actually very expensive. So for them to be this expensive, they have absolutely no stretch, you know, and then they just aren't giving anything like great, right? Like they're just looking like a sad, sad pair of jeans. But I've heard people have really good responses from the new Ever Comedy Curve line. I just think that maybe I go up a size or try another pair, another style that might fit me better. But these aren't that. <laughs> Last thing I bought were these two sets that I uh, found. Now they were having the 40% off sale, which I thought was absolutely amazing. So I bought these shorts with this top to wear, um, to run errands in. And it doesn't make you look super plain. Like you look really cute. Like I could throw this on with a pair of tennis shoes or a pair of Yeezy foams. Then I bought it in this other color, which this is the black color. And then I bought it in this grayish, brownish color, which is another cute little color. Love how it looks on me. This is like, this is my favorite color. I mean, I like the black because, you know, black is black. But overall, like, if you want like a, something with color to wear this season, this is definitely the perfect color to wear because it's like very neutral tone. And again, you can dress this up with some tennis shoes or something like that and look super cute. And like I said, you still look, you're casual, but you still look dressed up, you know? So like I'm going to run errands, you know, or going out to lunch, like you could do that with this outfit. Mm -hmm. 